Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. In our first video of the week, we're going to take a look at the drive coming out of halftime. Uh, look at the adjustments Coach Munkin made. Look at the adjustments the O-line and the team made all together. And we ended up have, putting together a pretty nice drive. So uh, Texas, the Texans were kind of bottling us up in the first half, doing, a different thing, doing different things on that left side of our line. I think Ronnie and uh, Simpson had a tough first half. But they made adjustments, came out that first drive in the second half. The adjustments showed. Um, but I will say after that drive, the Texans then made adjustments. And so it was a battle of adjustments back and forth. But let's take a look at the, the drive coming out of halftime and see how well our adjustments fared versus what the Texans were going to do. And this really is just a, a glimpse of what I think we can put together when we play a full game. Because, again, we played like crap, still won by 16 points, uh, scored 25 points. And, um, again, did not play very good at all, but getting an ugly win is a lot better than and than losing, period. And uh, it just shows you got a lot of stuff to work on. But let's take a look at this uh, opening drive in the second half, which is a good thing because coming out, and I know preseason don't really matter to some folks, but remember that drive in that last preseason game coming out of halftime, how well it looked? This was kind of similar to that. So maybe halftime adjustments are going to be a good thing for us this year, and we just got to start fast. But let's get into the drive right now. All right. So this is the drive right after halftime. Well, well adjustments were adjustments were made. Yeah, I don't know why Stanley didn't touch the edge guy at all. I guess they all blocking down. So it probably must be slide protection. Slide protection right with Ricard picking up the the end man. So you go, you get a chill by Aguilar. Ricard does a good job of picking him up. And runs him on by. Lamar does a good job of stepping up. A little timer out. On time. Right out of his break. Right out of his age break. It's a good job all around. Good job all around. Because you're going to see Aguilar going to help with the chip. And Ricard going to end up picking him up. Chip, Ricard, and just running by. I don't expect Ricard to, to do much more than that. Get, get in, get his hands inside, run the guy by. I'm cool with that. It's a good adjustment at first because 52 in the first half was just beating Ryan and standing like a drum. And on this play, Ryan didn't have to block anybody, so I guess that's a good thing. I guess that's a good thing. There we go. What's second? First and 10. And now we got Ricard in heavy right here. Like a, one of our looks from last year. Basically one of our plays from last year. <laughs> Basically one of our plays from last year. Aguilar picking up the end man. So now you're giving Grenard different looks. You had Aguilar chip him and, and Ricard get him. Now you got Aguilar coming across as the slice guy. Like on a split zone type deal. But they're going right downhill. Like where is he going? Ricard where are you going Ricard? That's the question. Ricard coming right. Hit that right there in the mouth. He hit that in the mouth. JK do this thing. Where where are you going, 42? Oh shit, you chose a path of least resistance. But we get, we still got something positive out of it. We got something positive out of it. And I like the fact that they give him 52 different looks. And not just letting him win like he was winning in the first half. So it's two different play, two plays, two different looks coming out of halftime, and we're talking adjustments. Second and nine, right here. You get what two by two right here. This is yeah two by two. I think the other tight end over here is Kolar. Let toss play, which is probably the same play he scored on earlier, but I only saw one puller on this one. Maybe because the the front's different. Likely cracking down. Likely walking down the crack. Yeah, which is fine. Moses gets behind that. Okay. Look at Linda Bond, boy. Look at Linda Bond work that angle. Man. O'Lyman, listen. O'Lyman don't suppose to... Linda Bond's going to block Pyramid. Watch the angle and the speed at which Linda Bond gets there. 
Not only do he get there, he get his hat on the right side and 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 seal Pyramid off. This is this is some good. If you like O line play, this is some good stuff. Look at that angle. Now get him turned. That's that's fuck perfect, Linda Bond. Perfect. O linemen don't supposed to get to win like that. Look how far apart they are. Look at him run and get turned. Oh, back to the play. Okay, let's see what the play went on. I'm sorry. Linda Bum got me excited. My bad. Okay, Moses. Out there running. Destroy him, Moses. Destroy him. Ah. Yeah. I wish you could have finished him. 78. I wish you could have finished him. Not bad. Okay, I see Odell and that getting a little blocked too. I missed Odell early. He got the crack on 48. I see you three. I see you three. It's like the second block he didn't got in the, you know, that was at the point of attack. All right, now we're looking at third and five. We got three by one with likely Bateman and Zay at the top, Odell at the bottom. Odell and Stingler was going one on one all 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 game. Got a little motion to make it look like bunch. Or not look like bunch, but he is bunch. Got a little whip route by Zay. Mm. Make you miss. Make you miss. Great. This is this right here. That goes. That's. I wish all our football players thought. But him just standing there and being a shield and not getting that block in the back. That's that's smart football. Smart football. Smart football. But let's go back to the route combos. I'm sorry. Got a whip by Zay. Got a dig by Bateman, which would have been open too. And then you got something by Likely. I don't know what's going on, but Bateman won. Zay won. So you would have had two guys to win on that one. It's a good job. Good job of execution. By everybody. What the O line look like. What the what the what the pocket look like. Let's see what the pocket look like. They're blitzing off that the offensive right side, defensive left. They're trying to pick it up. We got enough to pick it up. We slid the right way. Slid to it. Slid right. Got enough to pick it up. Got four versus eight, four, one, two. Three, four, and we got one, two, three, four. And you got those two. So we got enough. Protection's right. Now you just got to execute. Got to execute. Passing that stunt off between Simpson and um, Stanley. Not bad. Not bad all the way around. Not bad all the way around. Then Zay with it. Uh -uh. All right. That's the same play. Yep, same play. All right. First and 10. Again. Adjustments. Right, now we're getting better protection. Now you're going to see this. I don't know who this ball going to, but it should go to Bateman. Should go to, yeah, see, before I even knew it. Great freaking throw. Eight. Way to get it up and over the linebacker. Because the reason I say it should go to Bateman, because look how these guys sucked up Pauls on on um, likely. And that's what you want. There it is. They took the bait. No pun intended. They took the bait, but that's a great throw to get it over the linebacker and right to your receiver. Great freaking throw. Great throw. See what it looked like from the back. Watch them all jump. See them all jumping likely. Him jumping likely. Him jumping likely. Him jumping likely. And you see Bateman just coming behind. Don't clear it out. But it's a good job to get it over. Um, I think this is a kid from Alabama, Christian, whatever. Appreciate you, Alex. Appreciate you. He, oh, he might have tipped this. Four days might have tipped this. But it's a good job of getting it up and over. 
I thought uh, that might be, I put that up there with one of the good throws too. That throw to Bateman, that back shoulder, I mean, that slot fade to Bateman earlier. The one to Odell we hadn't saw yet. And then this one, this was pretty good. Pretty good read too. Pretty good read too. Then I'm say we ran power read with this early in the game. But I don't think this is just straight jet sweep right here. It is straight jet sweep. Ah, let's see. Let's see what the blocking look like. We got numbers out out here. We got numbers. You got likely. You got Moses. You got J.K. You got three on three. One, two, three versus one. One, two, three. Well, what, why we don't get in right here? They made he made it, he made it cut it back. Ah, that's what he did. He made he made him cut it back. But Christian made he made it cut it back to the carry. That's a good defensive play by forty eight, sacrificing his body, sacrificing his body for the for the cavalry. A good play forty eight. Christian Harris, that's his name. Christian Harris played at Bama. Good play. Good high IQ play. Take the outside away, make him cut back, and hope the rest of your your, your uh, crew with you. It's a good job. Let's see. Look, ready to throw. Nothing there. Now, now you could anticipate, and you could just throw this ball here because you know where Zay's going. You could anticipate that and put a little air on it. Mm, that's it. That was the play. That was the play. So like right now I'm thinking with the way this dude is stepping that way and Zay starting to go the opposite direction, I'm thinking you float this thing another way. But he can't because he's not in a throwing position. He got one. He's not both his feet not in the ground. He, he see it. He's just not in the throwing position. He's not in the position to throw. Now, I mean, if he's right here, he should be good. If he's right here, but he, he's too far up, I guess. I don't know. But he got it out. Check down. and Unfortunately, that's... Damn. That's where he... I think that's where J.K. got hurt at. But the you know the um adaptions the, the adaptions they made you know for this first drive coming out this this drive made us look like a totally different team coming out of the coming out of the halftime this drive made us look like a totally different team and I was thinking we were going to get a lot more of this coming out but you know after our adjustments the Texans made their adjustments so it was a back and forth thing Okay, so that was the drive coming out of halftime. If this is your first time here and you have not hit the like button, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you have not done so already. Hit the bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop throughout the 2023 season. So I appreciate you guys for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with, with me. And again, remember the motto is FTMF. Film then more film because the film don't lie, unlike some people. And we out. Peace.